Cryptolib on STM32. The STM32 crypto library is CAVP and FIP certified. This unique library contains a software implementation of the cryptographic algorithm and also a hardware accelerator enhancement for some of them. It removes the burden of algorithm validation. It allows OOM to fasten the security certification process. It includes all the major algorithms for encryption, hashing, message authentication, and digital signing. This package is available as an Xcube extension on this site. If you connect to it, you will need to register and then to fill a form you will receive after a mail with a download link. This is for legal issue. This STM32 crypto library is software and hybrid hardware. It's distributed by ST as the object code library accessed by the user application through an API. So you don't have the sources of this library. The hardware acceleration when it's present could rely on random number generator, the crypto accelerator, and iOS hardware accelerator. The library is compiled for Cortex M0, M0+, M3, M4, and also M7. Note that the library is compiler dependent, higher KL or GCC, and is compiled with two optimization levels, high size and high speed. Here I give you an extract from the user manual, which is just explain the naming of the library. First, you've got the core class, CM0, CM0+, CM3, CM4, and CM7. Then, which header you are using, higher, KL, or GCC. Then, you've got the compiler optimization, which are different regarding which IDE you are using. Now, I give you the list of all the algorithms supported, quite long. Death and triple death, iOS 128 and up 256 bit, with many supported modes. You've got the hash function with hash max support, Hack4, Shashat123, Poly13, Euro5, the RSA signatures function, the RSA encryption and decryption function, the elliptic curves cryptography. So many algorithms for sure. Some tips. First, the CRC peripheral is used by the STM32 crypto firmware library. That means when you are using the crypto lib API, the CRC shall be activated and ensure that the CRC init register is set to FFFFFFFF. Otherwise, the API result will not be valid, but you won't have any error messages, so it's really tricky. This is described in the user manual, but it's often miss. Another tips, the FPU library are often requested and are available but located in the hardware accelerated part of the library, or I will say of the packages. I will show you the organization of the packages at the end of this presentation. For the performance on memory footprint, there is some documentation also inside the package. And there is many tips available in the user manual in the fact section, so I really advise to have a look to this section at least. Regarding the availability of the crypto league across all the STM32 family, it is available on all family. As reference, again, please have a look in the user manual 1924 and also in the packages, there is many, many source uh, code example. I propose now to go in the packages and see how it's organized. So if you downloaded the packages, um, also the patch and edit them, you will have such kind of structures. So at the top, you've got, I will say, a folder with the accelerated hardware and the firmware one. So I think the naming is quite obvious and the organization will be similar on the both sides. If I go in the pure software version, here it's grouped by family, or that means it's also grouped by core. That means if I want to go on the G0, for example, and I don't support it, I know that L0 also have a Cortex M0+, plus, so I can use the library available in this folder. So if I have a look in the L0, for example, we've got the documentation folder, and here, as previously said, there is some documentation about performance or memory requirements. Quite useful, you want to evaluate this library. From the driver point of view, base ports, CMCs, and HL drivers, not quite interesting for us. Middleware, this is interesting because it's where is our cryptographic library. So in the middleware, ST, you can find the folder STM32 cryptographic, Include file, and here you've got the famous library. 
So here you find again what I've been exposed in the documentation, the core which compiler to use, compilation optimization. As you can see for high air, we've got two versions, one for the version V7 and then for the V8. So if I come back here, you've got some project folder. So here you can find many examples, for example, for the Nucleo L053 R8. You can find many examples and differential code. So do not hesitate to load them. In the hands-on part, I will experiment such kind of project and also show you how I will start from a blank project, I will see. Let's come back to the basic and go in the accelerated hardware cryptographic folder. As you can see, all the family are not targeted here because acceleration is not available everywhere and it's really depending on the parts. So if I have a look in the L4, for example, the structure is quite the same. You've got some documentation and also performance and memory requirements. Regarding middleware, I want to show you something who can look strange. We are on the hardware acceleration crypto, but we still have one non-accelerated here. And it's where you will find the FPU compiled version of the library. I found this a little bit tricky. It's why I want to show it to you now. The rest is quite similar. Here you've got some project for the L4.6. So here it was the hardware acceleration used. And you've got example of crypto, which is a little bit different because it's only one project. But this is mainly, I think we have covered all the information available on the organization of this package. So I hope you find this interesting and thank for your attention.